my channel. Today's video is going to be an update on our nursery. So I'm going to give you an updated tour on Christian's room. Now that he's one, I made some changes to it to make it much more toddler friendly versus the newborn setup that I had a year ago. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you may have seen my original nursery tour back from when I was pregnant. I had a big old belly then and the room was like perfect and pristine and ready for a newborn to arrive. But now my baby is on the move. He's on the go. I've had to move some things out of the way. I have some adorable new decor here to show you guys. So I just wanted to give a quick update and show you some of the little tweaks and additions I've made. I apologize if there's a little bit of an echo in the room right now. I'm standing far back just to film this, but I'll actually be walking you through it with my vlog camera so this, we won't have the echo the whole time. And then I also want to give a shout out to Living Textiles. So they are the company that makes these beautiful blankets behind me and they're sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much to them for working with me on this and I will give you a closer look at the items I've added to the room from them. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen my unboxing in Instagram stories on there too. So I'll walk you through the items that I unboxed and a little bit more detail on each. So without further ado, let's just get into the room tour. Okay, hopefully this sound is a little bit better for you guys. So this is just a quick overview of what the room looks like. Hi Coco. It comes with a puppy as well. Um, I wanted to just give you guys a glimpse overall of what kind of the decor looked like and the overall theme. So when I was pregnant and I was decorating this room, I was really inspired by nature and animals. I wanted it to feel really natural and outdoorsy, but not too like adventure-like or mountain-like. <laughs> I didn't want to go with one specific theme because I wanted to be able to make tweaks as he got older. And I also knowing myself, I would get bored and a little tired with it. So it's very neutral and easy to make tweaks. A lot of it is really similar to my original nursery tour but i've just made some edits that make it more toddler friendly first edit when you walk in is actually not specific to toddlers but i added a coaster because mama needs her water when she's nursing if you are pregnant and you're contemplating getting one of these chairs do it because you will spend hours in it and you want it to be comfortable so i still have the welcome to my crib sign the dream catcher that I actually made Christian when I was pregnant. Hello, Coco. You can see this chair looks a little more worn in, but overall it is still holding up really well a year later. And then I added a stool too, because like I said, I spent hours in it. I have spent hours in this chair nursing Christian and being able to put my feet up in the middle of the night is a game changer. So inside his crib, we have this really pretty star print sheet so this is a muslin sheet it's really lightweight our place does not have air conditioning so we need something lightweight and i really appreciate that this is a light airy fabric that will be great for summer and then the neutral gray and white star print is so versatile i just love that it will go with anything these two blankets both from living textiles as well these are the ones i showed on my instagram page and what i noticed about them that i didn't give a shout out on instagram about but i noticed they're actually reversible so one side has a gray and white print the other side has a white print and this blanket that has like the really pretty satin lining is exactly the same too so it has gray and white on one side and then just gray on the other side so i have those layered here right here christian's not sleeping with the blanket right now i actually keep these in the car or in the stroller i love to have extra blankets on hand because if we're going for a walk and it's really windy i want something like that to keep him covered and keep him warm but for this video, I just have them layered right there just to show you what they all look like together. And then I have this adorable monkey here too that I kept in the crib right now, but he's actually going to go on the shelf with the rest of Christian stuffed animals. But just to show you guys everything together, this Joe monkey is so cute. It's actually a pretty big monkey stuffed animal toy. I know on Instagram I showed it relative to Christian's size, but it's also a rattle. So it can double as a toy and a comforting stuffed animal at the same time. So like I mentioned, I'll be moving Joe Monkey to the shelf. So when I originally showed my nursery tour, these books were all on the very last shelf. And as Christian became more mobile, that was just not happening. He could easily crawl over and knock over all of the books. And it is the worst to be picking up this many books multiple times a day. So I moved the books up a couple shelves and I added a couple really cute little cactus details. And then on the bottom two shelves, I really just wanted things that are soft and plush and toys, things that if Christian knocks them over, which he does, he will go and knock those toys all on the floor. But if he does that, it's not the biggest deal and it's not gonna hurt him and it's easy for me to put back together. 
So same with these initial letters. Those were also, I think, on the second to last shelf. I ended up bumping those up because he was just getting into them so much. He loves those things. Other than that, everything else on the shelf is pretty similar. I added some prints to go with the overall theme of the room. I may end up hanging those, but I actually really like the way it looks all together on the shelf like that too. I think it just looks very like effortless and everything truly has been just put up there casually and not too like overthought. Then over here I have these animal prints above the crib. They're so cute. I think they just go really well with the neutral theme of the room, but again, add like a little outdoorsy animal inspired feel. And I think these baby animals have like the most innocent little faces. And I love that Christian will grow up being able to see them and appreciate animals the same way I do too. I love a little bit of greenery in a room too. Plants like this just seriously make the whole room feel more homey. This is actually a faux plant, but again, I think it adds to the outdoorsy feel of the room. This thing is actually what's next for me to move on the bottom shelf of this nightstand because Christian goes after that all the time too. I have our little cactus pillows just next to the bookshelf. So when I originally showed my nursery tour, those were on this chair, this rocking chair. Um, but once I had Christian, I realized keeping pillows on the chair was just not really practical because I was constantly moving them to the side once he was born or once I needed to nurse him. I ended up just kind of propping them in the corner there with the rest of his stuffed animals. They don't fit on the shelf, but I still like to see them and have them add a little bit to like the desert feel of this room. It's really not a deserty room, but there's cacti there and we really like them. So <laughs> this tree is not usually plugged in. I plugged it in just to show you guys or just to add a little bit more of like an aesthetic to the video, but usually it's unplugged just for decor purposes. And then we actually have like an outlet plug in that outlet because he will go for those as well. Um, but for today, since he's at daycare, I decided to plug it in and enjoy it myself. He's got his little rocker that has his name on it right here. This is one of my favorite things I purchased for him. My husband thought it was such a waste, but Christian actually has used it a couple times, not on his own, but he does seem to enjoy it. And then this is our changing station. So again, very similar to my original nursery tour. Um, what are a couple things that are different are that one, I got this hamper that is plastic because I originally had a cloth hamper here and as we were changing his clothes, this was early on when he was a baby, but as we were changing his clothes, we saw that it was actually getting like a little like mildewy in the bottom. So you're, you're gonna have a lot of wet clothes with a baby, a lot of dirty clothes, a lot of wet things, a lot of things with stains on them. So you want something plastic like this, it's gonna have some breathability to it. So that's one, it, one switch we made. Our little caddy is pretty much the same, except it's much, much more disorganized because now we use this multiple times a day. And of course our diaper pail, I don't know where I'd be in life without a diaper pail. When we've been staying in hotels recently, it's given me a glimpse into what it's like to have diapers without a scent blocking diaper pail. And guys, just do yourselves a favor and get yourselves one of those. I love this dresser with our changing table on top. This is still like one of my favorite things we purchased for him as well. We can actually take the top off. So once he's in like a big kid room, we can take the changing part off and it will just look like a regular dresser that matches his bed. Um, but for now we have the changing pad up there and then we have this really cute gray and white changing pad cover that's also from Living Textiles. This is actually a really big cover too. So I was able to tuck in the sides too, but just know that if you have like a larger changing pad or maybe a strangely shaped changing pad, I know there's like the peanut ones and everything, this will probably fit it because there's a lot of additional fabric. I just have like your standard changing pad from Target but there was quite a bit of extra fabric that I just tucked over the side, so it doesn't look bad. It actually still fits it like this too, but if you have a bigger changing pad, it will fit that as well. You won't have to worry about it being too tight, so I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, I love this neutral, again, like gray and white, and this is really soft. It's almost got like a terry cloth feel, similar to like a bathrobe or something like that, so it will keep him comfortable as he's laying on it too. Then we have his little fringe CT. Um, we call him CT as a nickname sometimes. It stands for Christian Theodore and a little deer painting thing to again, out, again add to the outdoorsiness. Then another switch I made from my initial video was that this candle used to be up there. 
that does not work with a baby so it is now a doorstop <laughs> and it will stay that way and that is the whole room so i had so much fun showing you guys these updates of this room i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the nursery with um just the little updates and changes that we've made this is one of my favorite rooms in our place it's seriously so serene so calm i just feel like myself in here it's so peaceful and of course christian loves it too he loves his crib he loves playing with all of the stuffed animals on the shelf you can probably see right here he likes playing with the mirror too there's some marks along it babies love playing in mirrors and seeing their reflections but yeah thanks for following along and seeing this update again thanks for living textiles for working with me on this video let me know anything else that you guys like to see if you have any other requests and i will see you in my next one have a good day bye